Hey, yo, it's Burn Lord, and uh, welcome to another Let's Play of Realm to the War. It doesn't look like it, but uh, I just want to talk about something before we get into this. Um, recently, actually, two days ago, um, a problem started occurring for me when I was playing Realm to the War or Barbarian Invasion. I loaded it up, and the opening video cuts up top half of the screen for Realm to the War and Barbarian Invasion. And apparently, that's been happening to a lot of people recently. And I uh, looked on the forums, and apparently it's due to uh, an update from the 11th of July, uh, KB2803821. So, if you want to, uh, if you want to find that, just go to installed. If you installed updates, and then type that in here. I have it on the control pad, and. Uh, if you search it, you'll find it, and then if you uninstall that, it'll work again. So if you're having trouble, if you're having, um, if your intro video and your main menu is having this black bar problem, then you can uh, go ahead and do this, and it'll fix it. So I just wanted to say that before, and uh, here's the here's the number right here, KB two eight zero three eight two one. Um, so apparently I don't know why that messed it up at all, but uh, it did. So. Anyway, let's get into Rome Total War as the Apotheans. Uh, it was a close, it was a cl very close, very close uh, voting session. Uh, Armenia was winning quite a bit, and then Parthia just snuck up in the last couple days. It was actually tied all of yesterday. Um, but uh, when I checked it uh, this evening, it was Parthia 21, Armenia 20. So Parthia has won. Very interesting. And uh, let's get in here. Short campaign. Um, I'm going to do more than a short campaign. I, I'll probably do what I usually do, about 30 regions and such. So as, as you part of the, you have this area up here, and you also have the area down here. Uh, but we'll get into that, and uh, we'll watch the intro. That's what they do. They do not understand the dead. They do not understand how it gives life or how it kills. So they die, and we grow strong. <laughs> Indeed. Well said. And uh, interestingly enough, I think that I'm pretty sure that's an intro only for Parthia, which is cool. Uh, Egypt has its own intro as well. So, there's a lot of interesting intros. But Parthia is an interesting faction. Um, I wish they weren't colored pink, but I'm over that. I'm over that. I'm a man. I can handle it. Okay? Don't worry. But uh, we start. We start as a pretty minor nation, as you'll see here. Uh, we have Arsakai up here. And Susa down here, which is actually a minor city, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty decent sized city, so not a bad town to have. But uh, Ars uh, Arsakai up here isn't that good. Uh, we do have trade on the Black Sea here, and uh, we can trade to our third settlement, which is Campus Sake. Which is up here in uh, by Scythia, actually, kind of up in Russia. So this is way out of the way. Um, yeah, not really that useful. Uh, there's one more trade part on this. Uh, there's there, yeah, there's only three territories that actually connect to this this area here. I think this is the Black Sea, or no, this is the is this the Caspian or the Black? I think this is the Caspian. This is the Black Sea over here, right? And this is Caspian. 
So anyway, <clears throat> basically, initial goals here. We got Rebel Territory here. And we got Seleucid Territory here. Uh, and there's a Wonder right there. So we're going to try to train an army here. Kill these guys. That's how it's going to go. And uh, we're going to try to take this Rebel Territory as well. Try to connect our Empire if we can. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go fight up here a lot. Fight the uh, Scythians. And uh, try to get this territory and uh, kind of focus on this area. Come down here, start hitting Egypt eventually. You know, fun stuff like that. But uh, before we do any of that, we got to look at uh, what Parthia can build. So we can get up to huge cities. Uh, full walls available. Our barracks really suck. Like, let's be honest, we our infantry is horrible. Good Eastern infantry, which um, are not too bad for militia. Ten defense. They're sp Got good spears, 240 men. Uh, really good for garrisoning and uh, defense, but uh, I won't be using them offensively that much. Hillman, I will use offensively a little bit. Pretty big unit. Um, much better stats than Eastern Infantry, and they're decently trained. Fast moving, which is really good for uh, Skirmish Faction. Uh, basically, just going to help defend our cavalry from uh, enemy infantry, pin them down on the offensive, and uh, do stuff like that. Pretty nice. So, that's our infantry. Uh, stables is where we start shining, though. Uh, this is this is going to be our bread and butter, the stables. Very important. Uh, first off, horse archers. Uh, very good. Trainable in all large towns. And uh, seven missile attack, three melee attack, two total defense. Uh, they're not very... Wait, they, they can't fight in melee, basically. You don't want them to fight in melee. They're really bad. But... They do have um, some bonuses. Uh, they're very good because uh, they're fast moving. They can outrun pretty much anything and just shoot it down. So that's basically how we're going to fight most of our battles. We're just going to have plenty of force archers and just shoot things down. Uh, now, interesting thing. Okay, so they show this model here, right? But in game, they're um, they're actually wearing the same model as this. Like it's it's like this guy with a bow, right? So I think that looks dumb. So I actually changed it. So that's actually this model. Um, so, just telling you that. Because I think this looks a lot better. And, uh, yeah. so, at, uh, at minor city level, we get Persian Cavalry. Which are same, as far as archers go, the same stats as normal horse archers. They're, they don't have fast moving. Uh, they have long range missiles and good morale, though. So that's really helpful. And uh, they're also, they also are decently good at melee. They have six armor. Uh, tw 10 total defense, 9 melee attack, uh, charge bonus of 5, which is okay. They're armed with uh, short swords. So they're n they're not too bad. They can actually be used uh, effectively as light some light cavalry, but uh, I'll be using a lot of Persian cavalry, definitely, when I can. Uh, there there's no point in training horse archers over Persian cavalry. Except maybe cost, but uh, uh, elite cavalry stables is where we start kicking some butt. Cataphracts, my gosh, 23. Arm 18 armor? Are you... Uh, 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 9 charge bonus. 7 attack. They have a secondary weapon that has 8 attack and armor piercing. Uh, a heavy mace. So, uh, that's pretty good. And actually, our later generals are actually cataphracts. So, that's something to be interested about. And now uh, we also get war elephants. That's right, folks. We get war elephants. Uh, we don't get armored elephants or anything. We just get normal war elephants. But it's... They're war elephants, man. They're good. They are good, and uh, first time I actually get to use elephants in a playthrough, so that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting, I would say. And um, yeah, we at our at our higher level we'll get cataphract camels, which are the same as cataphracts except they're camels, which means they s have combat bonus in desert and scare horses. Um, that also means they're s much slower because camels are slower than horses. So I probably won't be training these because cataphracts are already slow enough. I need them to have some speed and. Uh, Probably by the time I get these, I won't be fighting in the desert that much anyway. I'll pretty much be pushed out of the desert, hopefully. Um, per, uh, playing as Parthia is really hard, so you never know. Uh, our stables are pretty average. We get slingers, which are n nice. Effective gets armor, so good early game armor piercing range units, as well as archers, standard archers, and uh, we got some artillery as well. So not too bad. Um, I'm not going to be training too many onagers because they slow down your army quite a bit. And uh, the whole point is I want to have very mobile armies that can just strike anywhere. 
really quickly. That is that is the point. So honor goes for defense, maybe, or for areas where I just need some siege. Uh, maybe in Greece, if I ever go over to Greece, you know. I uh, get Mercer's Quarter, which is nice. Full market available. We also get full blacksmith upgrades. We also get full dockyard, which is cool. We can get Quinn Aquariums, which are always nice. So we can, we can actually control the seas pretty well. And uh, we got uh, moderate sewers, not nothing too great. Uh, average farms up to level 4 farms, which isn't too bad. And we got paved roads, which is always nice. And then um, full academy, Ludus Magna, Praetorium. And uh, our special building, the Eastern special building, is the uh, basically the police kind of. So you start out the Executioner Square, Secret Police HQ, kind of like the undercover, undercover police, I guess, which is interesting. Uh, you know, Rome gets the Colosseums, Greeks get the amphitheaters, we get the uh, kind of secret police, which cause uh, extra happiness due to law. And uh, um, another thing unique to, I think, Parthia and Armenia, I think, are the only factions that can get these. Maybe maybe Pontus. I don't remember. Uh, they get trade caravans, which uh, just give you extra money. And it's quite a bit, too. These are actually really good. So I'm going to try to be getting these in all my all my settlements. And uh, we only get one temple, which is Shrine to Zoroastra, which is double happiness. So it's not too bad. Not too bad of a temple to be stuck with. All right, so with that said we can get started on our actual game and uh i think we're just gonna start could get a trade caravan right off but i think we need we need stables here for sure and uh, i'm gonna put it up to very high even though it's gonna make us unhappy i need the money because if you look yeah our finances are not very good mainly because we start with two units of credit fracks and these take a lot of upkeep well i guess not that much but uh Oh, we didn't look at our general unit, uh, Eastern General, which is Javelin Cavalry, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> good melee stats, as well as Javelin. So they're very, they're probably the best early game general, I would say. They're one of the best, if not the best. And then in uh, our Sakaya, we can get, uh, I'm thinking about going for double ports just to hook up these two settlements. So I think that would be worthwhile. Then I can disband these boats too. We really don't need boats at all in this area. And we can't increase the tax rate up here because it's pretty unhappy. Uh, but I do want to do the double port first off. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what are our finances looking like for next turn? It'll we'll actually be positive. Okay, so we're gaining some money. We have a spy here that we can send out. And uh, we'll go spy this way. There's a settlement right over here. So Lucid's. Uh, they got their faction air, some Jav Cav, white hoplites. And, uh, yeah. Basically, hoplites lose to horse archers all day. Because they can ju you can just run around them, shoot them in the back. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Uh, unfortunately, Parthia on siege defense is horrible. Because they don't have very good, uh, you know, infantry. And uh, at siege attacking, they're horrible because they don't have very good infantry. So uh, we're basically going to want to fight all our battles in the open field if we can. At least until we get elephants. Because uh, elephants will change that a little bit, naturally. Because el elephants are uh, are interesting. Elephants and cataphracts will help us fight in cities a lot better. But until then, we need to fight outside. But uh, this wonder here is very useful. 20% bonus to farming income in all settlements. So I want to get my hands on that as soon as possible. Anyway, we'll send our diplomat over here. And uh, this is the small rebel town I was talking about. Fresva. So let's take our faction leader and go that way. So take Farasfa, and then uh, we're going to train an army here, try to go after Seleucia. It's going to be our early game goals. Up here, we're going we're gonna to pretty much leave this B for now. Um, I want the peasants there for garrison, actually, because, yeah, the garrison bonus could still go higher, so it would drop. And uh, keep, the, keep the happiness, you know. So I think it's looking pretty good. We'll keep our spy here, keep an eye on the city, and uh, should be good to go. So I'm going to save it and end the turn. And Susa is not happy about life. Hmm. That's not good. Oh, we did lose a lot of money, but we gained 340 uh, from where we were last turn after we built stuff. So it's nice. And we'll go over and talk to Armenia here, who is up in these mountains. 
And I went the wrong way, didn't I? Hmm. Yes, I did. It's a river here. Uh, this territory is decent. Actually, this territory might be on the water as well. I think it is. I think it is, so that's not too bad. Um, this is going to take a while to grow. This will actually grow decently fast. That's what it's looking like. And this is a good capital for us right now. If we go down here, Susa is going to get... Susa is just going to be mad regardless. I think we need to build a Shrine to Zoroastra after this. But uh, I want the stable so I can start pumping out some horse archers so we can get ready to go attack Seleucia. And they left with an army. The left, uh, I'm not sure if they're having trouble. I don't think anybody's at war down here yet. Basically, the main players in this region are Armenia, uh, Scythia. I'm going to be fighting Scythia because I'm next to Scythia. Armenia, Scythia, Pontus, the Seleucid Empire, and Egypt. So those are the main guys you're going to be watching out for. And we'll attack Fresva here. Uh, again, not wanting the siege attack, even even though I could probably win. But uh, just going to let that sit. And they should die in three turns. And I don't should hopefully not take any casualties. So, especially on cataphracts, taking casualties early, you don't want. Uh, I might send the cataphracts down here. Uh, really depends how Armenia is acting towards us. If they're being if they're being very very friendly, then I could see us not having to do that. But if they're being mean, if they're being Duchensteins, then we may have to change uh, thought prosy prosy. And War Declared, Greek cities and Macedon have gone to war already, and we get a coming of age character. Um wow. Military genius. But horrible in cities. Um wow. That's actually really good. We're gonna send him down south. We're gonna send him down here. And that will definitely be good. And let's see. I'm interested to see how much sea trade we got going on between these two cities. So, open up the settlement, go to uh, summary scroll for trade, and uh, getting 32 from sea trade. Yeah, it's okay. Carmine comes decent. Not too bad. Uh, we can get some roads here. That'll actually be really helpful. Because this is a pretty big region, and having roads through it is going to help. And that'll grow next turn. This port is done, so we're going to put up um, some Shrine of Zoroastra. We don't really need a uh, roads here yet. We'll get that soon. But uh, we'll disband this ship because we don't need it and it's costing us 100 per turn. So getting rid of that will be nice. And we should be making some good money next turn. Keep our eyes on the Seleucids and let's go see if we can talk to Armenia. Oh, went just right past the city there. Ex er, Art exact Art I I'm Okay, so disclaimer. I'm not going to pronounce any of these names right at all, so just just tell me. Artax Arta. I'm trying. Artex. I'll just call it uh, Arty. Arty Town. I think that's what I called it in my Pontus LP as well, because I didn't want <laughs> to deal with the name. But anyway, we're going to talk to them. Oh, they have cataphracts as well. Yes, that's right. Armenia shares a lot of similar tech tree elements as well. But uh, they definitely have a lot better infantry. And uh, they don't have elephants. But uh, I want to take out Armenia quickly before they get their heavy infantry. Because their heavy infantry is very powerful. And taking it out will be very nice. Taking them out, I guess, would be the correct term. Would be very nice. Say they're going to talk to us. Okay. Sent the diplomat this way. Uh, trade rights. All right. I can gel with that. I'm fine if our relationship is that cordial. And uh, we could build this here, but that's way too much money for right now. Anyway, we're going to build horse archers. Uh, actually, we're going to build... Mm, oh, he's a good... Uh, dang, he's a good guy to have in the city, so I'm just going to keep him here. And uh, we're going to build a unit Eastern Infantry. So we have this unit, this unit, this unit guarding the city. And then we're just going to spam out some horse archers. Some horse archers. And uh, we should be able to... Uh, five or six horse archers should be able to handle this, especially because they're leaving. I don't know what they're doing. Very strange. But uh, roads have been constructed here. We have a market. We have. We do not have a land clearance. Very important. So just built that. We got that going. And Kepiseke can build a trader actually. 
Actually, since we got uh, we got uh, trade rights with Scythia, we can build we can build roads, and uh, we can uh, land trade with them a little better. I think that'll be worth it. Um, next turn we will take Fresva though, which is very nice. So let's end the turn. Oh, I did not remember to talk to uh, to these guys though, and they have quite a bit of force. Okay, let's talk to you guys. Trade rights. Yes, would you like an alliance? Yes! Okay, we can be friends then. Um. Hopefully they remain this this nice. Because they have a lot of horse archers. They have a lot of stuff I don't want to fight, so... Having friends with them would be nice. i got a couple buildings to build. We don't have much money, though. So we're going to have to choose where we want to build stuff. In fact... I'm gonna build a horse archer. And that's gonna take up most of our money. Because I think we need some more horse archer action, don't you? Uh, I'd like to get one more horse archer before I feel confident. But uh, if I can't, that's okay. I think we can take this with five. But I'd. Oh, they have another family member, though. But I think we can take it with five. And for Asfa, I'd, I want it to grow. Because look, look at its population 441. That's horrible. Oops! Um. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> nobody saw that, right? <laughs> but his population is horrible, so I'm gonna want to train that up. And these guys up here are doing okay. How is this guy stat-wise? Poor farmer, great. Uh, but intelligent and skilled bureaucrat, which is nice. Glad I have him. What is the distance to capital penalty? I'm sure it's amazing up here. I'm sure, it's just hundreds. Yeah, look at that. 65 distant capital penalty. Jeez. I don't even know why it's that much. It's not that far. But, you know. If they want to be like that, that's fine. But we have our next settlement. Uh, I want to try to attack Seleucia, and then we'll probably end off this part. Because, uh... Because, yeah. And we're going to end the turn. And go from there. Oh, they're going down here. Okay, there's... What the heck? I don't know what they're doing. There are rebel settlements down here, to the south, but uh, I guess they're going after those. I don't. I don't really know. And I was using the uh, the number pad to move around, but I keep hitting my mic cord, and I don't want it to disconnect. So I'm just not gonna do that anymore. If you're wondering why it's going, why I'm going to the edge of the screen, because you can go to the edge of the screen too. Works just as well. And you can use the mini-map. Uh, another unit of horse archers, though. would be really nice. And get some improvements in thrust. Yeah. We're going to risk it without walls there for a second. We don't need walls here right away. It's kind of tucked away after we have thrust. So, not too worried about it. And next turn, we will get... The thing from Susa. Rolling. And uh, the 20% bonus to farming income in all summons, that's what I really want because that'll be extremely helpful in getting some early game cash. And we're moving down this way. Hopefully, Armenia will be my friends, actually, and not be fake allies. And oh, we can talk to a couple people here. Um. Yeah, I'm not even getting anything with you because I'm just gonna attack you right away. So, let's talk to you. Trade rights, alliance, pa uh, Pontus. Yes, let's both beat up the Seleucids together. Let's go over here. We can try to talk to the Greeks. I just closed something. I don't know what I closed. Oh, the Greeks right there. Hi. Uh, do you want map information trade? Because we're not gonna be seeing each other for a while. No. Not worth it. That's okay. I don't really want an alliance with you anyway, so not to worry about that. Anyway, we're gonna send him down here to talk to Egypt. Egypt, because Egypt's down here naturally. So we're allied with them. Uh, transgression. Oh, Seleucid so Empire don't like me. Oh, that works out. Is there any other diplomacy action going on down here? I don't think so. Um, Armenia and Pontus are allied to me. That's about it. So, 
That is cool. I am a fan of that. We also need to get a trader here. That is cool. All right, so we're going to move out. We should hopefully have enough garrison. Maybe not. Uh, not too bad. Okay. I'm going to move to attack Seleucia. Uh, ironically, Seleucia is not the capital city of Seleucia. So, <laughs> there's that, you know. It's just not. Anyway, I'm going to just save and end the turn. You know, I'll take your map information. But as far as trade rights, I don't really care for it. Because we're going to lose that literally next turn. Oh, it'll give us an extra turn of trade rights, I guess. But let's attack. And uh, literally, this army cannot see attack because we do not have any infantry. Uh, and you need infantry to be able to build rams to seize attack. So, yeah. Somebody died of old age. That's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, we, can, we need to build walls here. Walls will allow us to uh, sally forth, which is what we want to do. We don't want to siege defend, we want to sally forth. So, that is the modus operandi there. We'll get a uh, trader up here, because we don't have a trader up here. Try to get all of our really cheap buildings out of the way. We need another temple here, though, because I want this city to remain pretty happy. And, uh... Yeah, let's keep rolling, guys. I have no idea how long this video is, actually, because I didn't look at the time when I started recording. So it could be already 30 minutes, and this could be a really long first part. But if it is, screw it. Screw the rules. And let's keep rolling. Oh, Spain. Spain. You with me, Spain? Spain. Spain. There we go. Sometimes, sometimes some factions... Oh... Oh, he died of old age. Well, what are you going to do about that? At least he wasn't defending an important city. And war declared Thrace and Macedon. So Macedon's having a hard time with wars early. Which is always nice. Love to see them suffer. <laughs> but, uh... Actually, we kind of need the, uh... How much money is that going to give us? That's actually... Yeah, we need, we need that 200 per turn. Uh, it's actually going to help quite a bit. Okay, and we got a new guy. Pawn of the Gods, minus one influence, but plus one management. So he can go over here and garrison Farasva. Which always nice. Agent found. No big deal. Path blocked by Orthanis. Yeah, we saw. Alright, so now we have the map information of Seleucia. They have a settlement over here. Sardis. Pretty small town. Um, Lycia is down here. But that's a wonder right there. Uh, so the, the Seleucids actually start with two wonders, which is pretty good. Um, they have Tarsus here, which is a pretty nice city. They also have Antioch. Antioch, big jewel of the east. Um, Susa here is really big. Antioch starts really big. Another minor city. Uh, there's a couple of big cities down in Egypt. But other than that, everything starts pretty small. They have Damascus down here and Hatra over here. So quite honestly, after we take uh, Seleucia, we could either come up to Hatra or fight the Armenians. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Or I could go take some of this rebel land. There's a city here we could take, or there's a city here we could take. Um, there's benefits to both. Not really sure. Of course, at any time, the, uh, the Scythians could come up and just totally destroy us. So, I mean, that's an option. Uh, in fact, on that note, I think building a watchtower over here would be really beneficial. Because this is the only, well, I guess this isn't the only route through our territory. You can come up through here, but they'll probably come up through here. And I kind of want a watchtower. And they are pissed. Jeez. He is a really good manager, then. Alright, so I need to get him back in there. But we need a watchtower. And I'd like a watchtower here as well on this land so I can see if the Armenians are going to try to do anything foolish but uh, we're going to move our spy over here see if there's any Seleucid reinforcements save and end the turn so I think it's going pretty good first uh, foray is the Pothians 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 the one nice thing is that you only have to worry about one front because you're on the side of the map which is odd and yes there we go 
Good job. Armenia went to war with them, too. Where did they attack? Uh, they attacked here at uh, Hatra. All right, so if Armenia takes Hatra, we may move into the desert and take some of this. Because me and Armenia are allies right now. I don't want to change that at this point. Um, I see no need, really. So I'm going to remain friends with them for now. That may change. But diplomacy is working out for us so far because we are both at war with Seleucia. So hopefully we can team up together, take them down. So we got a tower there. We can see a nice amount of territory. We're going to get a tower over here. We have to see a nice amount of territory. That takes quite a bit of money to do. Uh, 400 at this point in the game is a lot of money. But I think it's worth it. It's worth it. And Fraspa can use some more farm action for some more growth. Growth. How much money are we going to project it to have next turn? 1248 isn't too bad. And when we take this, we'll get quite a bit of money because uh, we're probably going to have to exterminate. Well, actually, no. I, I th I'm going to try to occupy or enslave because uh, even though exterminating would give us a lot of money, uh, it's really close to our capital. Shouldn't be too unhappy. And we should be able... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, what do they got? They got camels. They have their uh, family member. Okay, so Greek generals are very weak to archers. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're very weak to archers because they have very low armor. And he's weak-chinned. Wow, he is horrible. Jeez. But, uh, there's the Krakus. Isn't really a good commander either. But he is their factioner and Pelpists, which we can gun down with our archers really well. Uh, lots of Pelpists. So, I don't imagine this will be very hard. The, the game doesn't want us to win. The game doesn't value horse archers as anything. Because the game just takes their base stats. It doesn't count in the fact that they're horse archers. So, let us engage the forces of Seleucia. And try to take Seleucia after defeating Seleucia. Yes. Let's go. War is sweet to those that have never experienced it. Indeed, that's why I play these games. War is sweet when I play these games. And uh, I have never experienced war personally. I'm sure it kind of sucks. So I understand that quote. All right, so we're in the desert. Do these guys get desert bonuses? No. Do these guys? No. Okay. Not a big deal if they do or don't. But uh, there's the city over there. I'm going to use the number pad for battles, though, just because it is very useful. Um, we're going to try to get all our horse archers in one area. Like so. Oh, n never mind. I, w I want that on. No, I'll leave it off for now. And, uh... We'll leave it on in our general. Our general probably won't be used for a little bit, but, uh... There's the reinforcements. Basically, what I want to do is get up here on this hill. And go from there. If I can. That'll be really nice. And uh, hold space to show where your units are moving. Just FYI. And uh, horse archers fire when they're moving, of course. So we got our squads. And we're gonna we outrange Peltus by a whole ton. And look at oh my gosh, the meat. The destruction. The meat. Don't want to get into the uh, Peltus range though, because they will tear us up. Javelins will hurt, because we only have three defense. Actually, do we even have any armor rating? We do not. Yeah, so. Yeah. Actually, I have two defense. That's even worse. Alright, so we're going to want... We're actually going to want skirmish mode on these guys. Believe it or not. So. Wow, we routed these guys right away. Dang. And what I said about camels being slower? Yeah, that's going to come into play here. They are slower than us. Therefore, they will not be able to catch up to us. And we should just be able to shoot this army down. Actually, I'm gonna get our general in here and try to shoot the uh, shoot their general down a little bit with some javelins, because that works pretty well. Get you to back up a little bit. Throw your javelins at them, general. Oh, look at their, their general's getting hammered. And they are just getting destroyed by this. Uh, actually. These guys are getting hit by the Peltus. 
so I'm gonna have him move around a little bit. <clears throat> I wanna make sure all your horse archers are firing at once, of course, because uh, when they're not firing, they're not doing anything, so keep that in mind. Uh, these guys came back. We can actually charge these guys, probably. That'd probably work. And we shot their general down. Very nice. So we're gonna take out that army. Uh, take down that unit. No, we didn't even need to. Okay. Uh, just remember when you when you call to attack that uh, you'll get auto skirmish somewhat automatically. But uh, you can hold alt to get an alternate uh, attack style. Like generally when I hover over something, it'll show me the bow, which is the bow attack. But if I hit alt, it'll show me my melee attack option. So that can be useful. And we're going to peel these guys off and help our uh, men fight these camels. Which they're out, definitely outrunning very nicely. But, uh, yeah, taking out their cavalry is going to be really beneficial. And plus being on the cell is really beneficial too. So, uh, Let's form up our horse archers here to start taking on the next army. And our general as well. No need to run them because they will get tired. We don't want that, do we? Do we? We don't. But we can take out these Bedouins. They are almost dead. Almost routing. And as soon as they start routing, we win. Well, we defeat the first army. We haven't defeated all the army, I guess. But, uh, you guys are moving up. Should start shooting at them soon. Let's get these guys to run back into the line. And there we go. And reform our horse archer lines again. And try to shoot them down. The general's gonna try to uh, blitz us. But, you know, we're horse archers. We don't care. We could care less there, Mr. Seleucid General. Because you cannot, you cannot fight us. And this is basically how our, most of our battles are gonna go. We're just gonna run around. Outflank. And destroy. Uh, this this uh, territory border is actually a little annoying. It's going to be a little hampering. But, uh, yeah, we're shooting this guy from all sides. He's already down. Oh, my gosh. The meat. The destruction. The horse archers. Oh, oh. Good. Goodness. And we're going to get some more javelins down with our general. Because javelins are much more powerful than the arrows. One for one. And he, he just doesn't know what to do. He is completely confused. He's trying to go after a general, actually. We can probably just take him down. Because our general has good attack stats, like I said. And so, yeah, we can just take him down. We might be able to shoot him down, actually. And, like I said, I want these guys to escape from... Oh, nice. The Javelineers. And we really have not lost that many horse archers. This unit has lost some. But the majority of our units have not lost any. I'm actually going to take our general and start running down these Peltas while we uh, flee with our horse archers. Because uh, Peltas have really bad defenses. Yeah, 3 and 4. And our general has 12 and 15. So we can, we can definitely handle them. Dun, 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 dun. Get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. We'll run him down. Uh, this is the army that was in the city, so running them down will be very beneficial. Because it'll allow us to... Uh, if we kill enough of them, we'll actually be able to take the city this turn. Or after, after their turn is done. Because their city garrison will route... Uh, since we did kill their general, we need to kill their general, which we did do. And we have to kill enough of their men, which is what we're doing now. These guys are getting shot up. They're not even retaliating. They're just trying to form into a cohesive line. But that's not working because uh, they're getting run down. And they, they are dead. So we're just going to shoot them more. Uh, we might get some experience on these guys pretty soon, which is always nice. But... Uh, they probably don't have a stable yet in this city, so we're probably going to have to build a stable to retrain these guys. 
Uh, we will slap down some Eastern Infantry if we can get some gear to get some garrison. Because those guys are going to be our garrison force. Force Archers are going to be our attacking force. You know, basically. So. Pretty good battle, I would say. Let's uh, triple speed it while we're cleaning up these noobs. These noobs. Run down this one patch here and call it good. We call it good, eh? Eh, you know. And uh, you can just hit escape, exit battle after you've already win one, and it'll give you heroic victory. Oh no, we have 666 men remaining. Oh no. The army of the devil, apparently. Okay. So, who was the MVP? Horse Archer, this unit here. Only took two casualties, killed 174. Definitely, definitely the MVP. So, good job, Horse Archers. And uh, that is just a small preview of the destruction that is to come in this Let's Play. So, I hope you enjoyed. And okay. Wow, they are red. So we're gonna have to enslave or exterminate. I think I'm gonna try to enslave if I can. So let's go enslave. Uh, brings him to orange happiness, which is always nice. And we do get the wonder, and it has a little wonder video. It's probably my favorite song in the game, so let's listen to it again. So good. So good. So we got the Hanging Gardens. That will boost our profits. Up the wazoo, look at that. Mmm, meaty. But we have another suicid army coming. So we have to make ready. Oh, they do have a stable. Well, that makes it easier. Um, they don't have a temple, so we can get our temple in here. High tax rate. Uh, so slaves, uh, they last 20 turns. They give, they, they um, when you enslave a settlement, you get a population growth in that settlement because uh, people are coming back from slavery per turn and you also get population growth in you get population you get base population in your other settlements as well as getting population growth in your other settlements so for example this is up to 8,000 now which is a lot this is almost up to 6,000 um, this is up to 500 oh dang it he wasn't in there shoot uh, it's they only disperse population to settlements that have a general shoot actually I'm glad this one didn't get it because uh, it's already unhappy enough as you can see, there's a uh, Scythian settlement. Uh, well, actually, eventually, I want to use this settlement as a staging point to attack the Scythians. But not yet. We're not to that point. And we get Slave Trader. So, increase the pile. Oh. So, that also increases the Slave Trade growth. And you got a command point for that as well. Uh, Susa has been Temple of Zilristra. We can get a trade caravan. I think we'll start on the trade caravan, actually. Because that is really good. It is really good. And uh, our Sakia is almost upgraded. But we cannot get really anything useful there. We'll get walls, I suppose. This is the most useful thing we can build. And we actually have quite a bit of money next turn. So look at that. Not so hard to play as Parthia now, is it? No. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Room to the Wall. This is the Parthians. Join us next time as uh, we continue the war against the Seleucids. Probably killing this army and uh, maybe helping out the the dudes, the uh, Armenians. Or we'll come down here, hit some desert settlements, take out some of this area here. Maybe go go for Antioch. That would be interesting. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Bread Nord signing out. Have a good day.